Cyrex is proud to introduce Array 10, a new revolutionary food immune reactivity panel developed by Dr. Ari Vojdani, Cyrex chief scientific advisor and a pioneer in ELISA IgG food testing. The story of Array 10 began nearly 30 years ago, in 1986, with Dr. Ari Vojdani's pioneering application of ELISA technology to test for food immune reactivity. Since then, Dr. Vojdani has patented or spearheaded several new breakthroughs in this field. These include Array 3, the only panel on the market that tests for reactivity to multiple gluten and non-gluten peptides of wheat. Array 4, which introduced the concept of testing for gluten-associated cross-reactive foods. And the landmark Raw versus Cooked research, published in 2009, which further led to the development of Array 10. Array 10 is the culmination of 30 years of scientific development and features 10 advanced proprietary technologies. Number one, testing both raw and cooked forms of common foods on the same panel, as heating any food above 118 degrees Fahrenheit changes its protein structure and therefore may change its antigenicity. This revolutionary panel ensures that you will minimize the chance that you will miss reactivity to these common foods, regardless of the way they are prepared. Number two, testing cross-reactive pan-antigen isolates, which are antigens known to cross-react with human tissues and may result in tissue damage. Number three, testing multiple food protein interactions, as food protein interactions can change their antigenicity. Number four, testing for antibodies to large gum molecules, as these molecules, due to their very significant size, can cause immune reactivity. This may be a concern, especially for people on a gluten-free diet, as gluten-free products often use gums to hold ingredients together. Number five, testing for antibodies to binding isolates, as plant-derived agglutinins and lectins have an affinity for specific human tissues and may trigger an autoimmune response. Number six, testing for antibodies to tissue-bound artificial food colors, as measuring levels of antibodies to the food color chemicals already bound to human tissue is a more accurate assessment of immune reactivity than simply measuring levels of excreted chemicals. Number seven, testing amplified antigenetic proteins and peptides. The Cyrex targeted protein amplification process detects the reactivity to a specific peptide within a whole food. Number eight, testing for antibodies to oleosins. Oils, once thought to be free of proteins, do in fact contain proteins called oleosins. And these proteins can elicit immune reactivity. Number nine, testing for antibodies to meat glue or reformed meat. Meat glue, a combination of transglutaminase with other ingredients, is used to turn small pieces of meat into larger pieces of meat. Transglutaminase is a protein that can elicit immune reactivity, even when the specific meat protein may not. Number 10, dual antibody detection system. Some patients produce more IgA than IgG, or vice versa. 
By combining the two antibodies on one panel, Cyrex reduces the possibility of missing reactivity. Array 10 is a cutting-edge panel of real-world foods in their raw, cooked, modified, or processed form. Now available exclusively from Cyrex Labs.